<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck. We play troll decks, rogue decks, and Christmas decks. Oh, ho, 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 ho. happy holidays, hey, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Santa Hardleg, and today I'm joined by a helper elf in the form of Captain Cardsworth. Humbug, I say, humbug. I guess are you still a captain if you're an elf? Captain Elf. Captain <laughs> Captain Elf Cardsworth to you, Humbug Senior. And uh, yes, we're playing the Christmas deck, what, the Christmas gift deck. Once again, 2018 version. If you missed last year's version, uh, the, the idea is this deck is terrible. It's, uh, it's based mostly around the theme of giving. I give my opponents monsters. I give them uh, the cards to draw. And uh, mostly I give them a win. This is, this is not a good deck. It's a deck here to teach me humility by giving me loss after loss. Because Lord knows you need some of that humility. Yeah, I, I get I get too uh, cocky sometimes. But but we try to have a fun time with it. It's a nice little thing. I do it every year. I wasn't going to do it this year, but a lot of people kept asking me, to, requesting to do it. So, you know, it's tradition now. We're here. We're going to do it. Uh, now, if you just want the deck profile for some reason... There's a link in the description to a separate shorter video there. I'll go through everything, kind of explain the theme of the deck and how it works. It doesn't doesn't really, yeah, works in quotation marks. Bill Cardsworth doing physical motions you can't see, but I can see it, so I'll tell you about it. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's a link down there. Otherwise, in this video, I'm doing 10 duels against random opponents on YGO Pro. I'll be testing this out, showing you all the combos, and hopefully... We'll have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> All right, and here we are. First duel versus Joseph Stardust. Is that, I'm not sure if, the, is that a JoJo reference? I was going to say, is it a Joseph Stalin reference? Hey, oh, it might be. Did you know Stalin in, in uh, Russian means uh, steel man? He's the man of steel. So Stalin is not his actual last Ubermensch. name. Oh, hey. Lair of Darkness. Yeah, that's what My we're... favorite. <laughs> It's everyone's favorite, Joe. I'm, I'm not sure if you've been watching the uh, episodes lately. I assume not. I, I I know that you have been putting episodes out. <laughs> I'm aware that uh, episodes exist. Monster Gate, all right. Oh, it's Infernoid uh, Lair. Interesting. But uh, yeah, this is this is one of the. It seems like no matter what deck I go up against, I or. Er, no matter what deck I make, I always seem to go up against Lair of Darkness decks, and they are always my Waterloo. I am just like Napoleon charging in here, and this is my Russian winter. Just uh, of, of my discount. But, but you should be liking this one, because the goal is to lose, Joe. Well, I mean, the goal isn't to lose on purpose. The goal is to try to win, and it's most likely going to lose. Uh, see, that's the thing. If, if It wouldn't teach me humility if I wasn't trying to win at all. I'm just trying to win with a very terrible deck. It's all about milling people. Oh hey, this guy can negate spell traps. Does he get a token? Oh, he got himself one of them tokens. He got two of them tokens. All right. Um, attack with battle fader. One second. I'm gonna try a traffic control. The Christmas angel keeping out the goblins. <laughs> goblins are Christmas related, right? Sure. Now he's thinking very hard about what he wants to do with this one. <laughs> it's like, uh, I get one negate. Do I want to negate this? Yeah, this is if your opponent controls three or more. I got a lot of attack uh, stopping stuff. Oh, he's gonna... He's gonna let it go through. All right. Well, let's just bless him with a Christmas fish. There you go. Even in attack mode, you're so generous. Yay! Yep, it's the holy Christmas fish. And see, it has synergy because now he has more cards that he can't he can't attack yes. even more. Yeah. You truly are the master of strategery. I am the master of of uh not strategery, card synergy. The master of synergy. Synergistic management solutions? Yes, exactly. And now it's the end of his turn. He's like, "Uh, I don't know what I what to do. I don't know how to fight this." There's a uh, Oh yeah, I should say Merry Christmas, by the way. I hope you enjoy the fish. <laughs> oh, he said thanks. That thanks. was nice. Yeah, some people don't even respond, or sometimes I'm like, Merry Christmas, and they're like, Por qué? 
Feliz Navidad. Yeah, I go Feliz Navidad, and they're like, "Ooh, Mbukwe, he's very pretty." He is a pretty fish. I'm glad you agree. Blue is very much a color. <laughs> Watch out for his teeth, though. Teeth, though. He bites. <laughs> And yeah, that's also a thing we, we uh -oh, usually try. He's uh -oh. attributing things. Oh no! He linked with a token Joe. Oh no! But it's okay. He still has three monsters. Not anymore. He doesn't. Well, that doesn't matter. Yeah, because he's blowing up my things. Not the Christmas angel. Not the Christmas ang. Are you the avatar egg? Haha. -ha. No. Not the Christmas angel. <laughs> How will she look at the pretty wings? I I think she's looking at the pretty goblins there, Joe. No, she's like stop. It's, it's he yeah. It's keeping the anti Christmas goblins. I don't know what that would be. Don't say Hanukkah, that's rude. Mm -hmm. Hanukkah and Christmas are allies. They fight together. When, like, the big thing comes to destroy all the holidays, and it's, like, super evil, and then Christmas, like, can barely hold it back, and then Hanukkah, like, steps out of the sideline with candles and, like, burns them. And he's like, you, you came! He's like, I wouldn't leave my buddy alone. You've been dipping into the eggnog a little early this year, I, haven't you? I like eggnog. Oh, wait, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to, I, I, I like to say, like, goofy stuff, like, I like ham, I like eggnog. You don't want to say that, because then somebody might send you eggnog to the P.O. Yeah. box. Actually, when I was a kid, I used to think it was funny. I'd be like, I like pie. And uh, then one time, my uh, friend's mom baked me a big old pie. And I was like, oh, I actually don't eat pie at all. <laughs> you get coal for Christmas. That's mean. A little bit, but it's the resurrection. It's the reincarnation. What does that have to do with Christmas? Because the yeah, putting the Christ back into Christmas, but just he, in this but, one car. But he resurrected on Easter. Whatever, it's so... That's not Christmas. Christmas and Easter are allies, but they're not the same thing. <laughs> Close enough. Like yeah. Christ comes out of his tomb and sees Christmas standing there and goes, <laughs> Oh, thank God you're here. I mean, thank me you're here. <laughs> See, he's, yeah, Christmas has to defeat the holiday stuff in order to save. Easter's like the, the, the maiden, like... My savior! Because this is old, old school, like, regressive holidays and stuff like that. Oh, hey. Void vanishment. Where does Ramadan fit into all this? Um, I don't know. Ramadan... Is he, like, on the bench? Just the reserve? <laughs> we'll call him in if we need him, but I think we got this shift covered. R Ramadan's the computer that, like, gives them all the information and stuff. Are you ready to play a game? He's like Moses and the Super Best Friends. No one takes damage, so says Link Karibo. Uh, yeah, I'll just take that. It's fine, I got 10,000. Now you I gave don't. him a fish. Well, I'm gonna get it back. I don't know about that. You're asking for a Christmas miracle. Yeah, pretty much. Yay! Pot of indulgence, here we come. Banish all the cards. Because, you know, what is Christmas about more than the commercialized indulgence of getting rich things and capitalism? Yes. I like that he's not negating my stuff. I'm very happy about this. Also, messenger of peace. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna negate that. I mean, he might. Is this just the cards worth board to deck? Kind of. I mean, messenger of peace is Christmas related. I mean, look at him. He's all like... Bird says Christmas. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's... I swear, it's the Boy Scout motto. He's, he's obviously bringing frankincense and bird. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think that big light behind him is? That's the Jesus. <laughs> That's the portal to Home Depot. Truly a peaceful time of year. I bring you this message of peace. And he taketh it away. Oof. Right in the cheer. <laughs> Not my Christmas cheer! 
Um, you only get one of those per year. There you go. Have another fish. Or, uh, what's, what's he doing? Special summon. Okay. It's okay. Santa forgives you. <laughs> and gives you a second fish. Oh, he got another one. He got a lot of things. Phil, you're making me angry, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> you could have just had one of these, Phil. Notice the curvature. <laughs> it's the perfect way to have a bowl without making one out of a colander. I don't know why I'm suddenly reminded of that. Oh no, he tripped it off the fish. Oh, he must not have liked fish. He's banishing a lot of people don't. Turbo. Yeah, maybe. He is infernal. I mean, I don't know what I should, what I expected. Aha! Uh -huh, you got more life points than him. Game over. Next duel. <laughs> I had more life points than him earlier. I know, but now it's it. Now you do again. Now I get tokens. Cause he attributed. Cause stuff. it's token Thanksgiving. You should have put that in here for the holidays. Let me return the favor. Oh, he's so nice. Now you can link summon. Yeah, I can make my uh. Linkle Bell. <laughs> Linkle Bell, Linkle Bell, Linkle all the way. La 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 la. Um, and for just thirty nine ninety five, you get such tunes as Linkle Bell. Sla oh, he drew Slash Draw. Well. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know if he stacked that. What? Or did he just get completely lucky. How did we lose that? Okay, slash draw. Uh, send cards to the top of your deck equal to the number of cards your opponent controls. Then draw one card and show it. If it is slash draw, send it to the graveyard, destroy as many cards on the field as possible, and inflict 2,000 damage for each <laughs> card destroyed. <laughs> so he just happened to draw his other copy of slash draw with that. Uh, <laughs> well. he did, did he stack his deck in any way, or is that just complete luck? The other thing is like okay, because a lot of people use this. It's uh, if it's not slash draw, shuffle all cards from your deck into the from the graveyard. Or no, shuffle cards from your graveyard back into your deck equal to the number you sent from the top of your deck. So it's a way for people to recycle stuff. Hmm. A lot of like light sworn players will use it. Usually they don't get off the uh, twelve thousand OTK. No, I guess it's a Christmas miracle. Merry Christmas, Christmas miracle. You're going to be looking at that in, like, July, being like, what the hell was this? <laughs> Probably. Go ahead and mark that down. We get our first loss. But, you know, it was at slash draw OTK. How long? How often is that going to happen? Six times. I'm calling it right now. Six, six times. Six slash draws in a row. Yes. We'll see. Going into the next duel. Slash, slash draw, draw ruins Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> All righty. Here we are in the second duel. Brought to you by Patreon sponsor, Slamuel, who is very different from, from Slam, the other patron we have. This is a new patron. He's actually supposed to get a, uh, a shout-out back in October, and I forgot. So I'm making up for it now. Give him the biggest, hardest Christmas holiday th thanks down in the comments. And who boy, what a hand. Yeah. I, I think in between you were like, we didn't see any of our sphere modes. And here we go. Now we have all the sphere modes and Ra and Santa Claus. Is it another Claus, layer of darkness? No. And, and our uh, Christmas light dragon. Christmas. <laughs> that's that's what I call it. Okay, good. We'll have some time. Howdy! Merry Christmas! I'm Santa Hardleg. Have you been a good Vensomel deck this year? Vensomel deck. It's possible he doesn't speak uh, English. Well, let's see. Oh, I guess I should silence my phone. I mean, if you want to, you don't have to. It's fine. It's Christmas. I forgive you. Uh oh, we took 1,500 damage. Yeah, it's okay. We're going to lose, Joe. Igul. Igul. Oh. Igul. That's not Spanish, Joe. Yeah, it is. Is it? It means uh, you as well. Mm. Or likewise. Um, is this going to be like where we, uh, Mi nombre es Jose, 
Mi casa es su coches. Mi padre es bueno. <laughs> Me no hablos espero. El toro fuerte. El toro fuerte. <laughs> I don't know very much Spanish. Oh well, yeah, we we established that back when uh, Tales in Space, Mutant Bob's Attack. El guapo. El guapo. What does that mean again? My handsome. My handsome, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. El Toro. I don't speak Spanish. The bull heart. <laughs> or the brave bull. The strong the, bull. The strong bull, yeah. <laughs> Fun times. Oh, dimensional fissure. That won't oh. hurt me at all. It won't, actually. It's cool. Mm. I'm never going to be able to use these sphere modes against Sky Strikers. All their spell traps are about not having monsters in the main monster zone. Mm. It's okay. He can have Santa Claus. Here comes, oh, here Santa, comes Claus. Santa Claus. Oh, here comes Santa Claus. Right down Yu-Gi-Oh way. Um, you know what? You give him a fish too. No, he's got enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna set my fish. He can't get over it with Santa Claus, and he can't activate any of his spell traps as long as he has a monster in the main monster zone. So he has to like link this away for something, and then he's got a stupid link too he can't use. Yep, good old Santa. I've said this before, but I always like to point out. Like, the, all the theming and stuff that goes on Santa Claus, his attack is 12-25, so December 25th. Uh, and he shows up unannounced at your house, like he tributes <laughs> a monster, and then he gives you a gift because you get to draw a card. Oh, he could just use his field spell. Well then. Well, fiddle dee dee. Doesn't that just fiddle my D? Some people pay extra for that. Yep. Oh, he could just destroy it. After he banished Santa Claus... To the Shadow Realm, or to the Winter Realm? We'll take this duel to the Winter Realm! Ding, 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 ding. Oh, this is actually really nice. My snow necrophere! I give you a present! And he, like, hands it ominously, and he, like, opens it up, and it's, like, socks, and it's like, oh! That, that, I thought you nice. might be cold here! <laughs> it is the Winter Realm, after all! Uh, do 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 you have your phone? Can you? Yes. What is Vince O. Melhor? <sighs> okay. See if you can Google Translate that. It may not be anything. Um, I maybe. But I'm worried if it's a. Uh, he's drawing an awful lot. I mean, Sky Strikers do that, but he's got some other weird texts in here, like these uh, the spellbook engine. I'm thinking maybe he's playing like. Sky Striker Exodia or something like that. Mm. Beat or Melhor? <laughs> so Vence is Beat and then Melhor is Melhor. Or Melhor means Beat? Yeah, well, it's Portuguese, it's not Spanish. Oh, okay. Interesting. And, uh, yeah, Melhor is best. Beat or best deck? Beat the best deck? Vance o Melhor. Is wins the best. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I mean... All my sphere modes are useless. And I can't even give him some holiday cheer because I don't Espanol. Portuguese. Or, or Portuguese. El Portuguizo. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works, Joe. I like to pretend. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I guess we'll be back. Feliz Natal is it in Portuguese. Oh, okay. Oh, the holy cup. The cup of ace. This could be the the card that seals our fate, Joe. Hopefully. I call it sideways. Oh, we have more time. There we go. That's a nice hand you got there. Be a shame Be a if shame something if happened to it. Someone gave you a gift card or a present card. He can't even activate anything because he's got his old thing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> negating Santa. Naughty. <laughs> Very naughty. 
El oof. <laughs> El oof. <laughs> yeah, Spanish, Portuguese. They're like right next to each other, but they're very different. It depends on what Spanish you're looking at. Mexican Spanish is not near Portugal Spanish. Yeah. Well, I mean, unless you're in South America, because Brazil's That's, Portuguese. But that, but it's not Portugal. Portugal's on the other side, over by uh, yeah, it's over by Pascal. Uh, uh, Switzerland. Yeah, it's closer to Switzerland than it is not Switzerland. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we'll be back well, if, if something happens. <laughs> I think he's. I'm just. He's gonna calculate a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh, is he gonna have three monsters now? Behold, a Satan! <laughs> Behold! The Christmas bell! It dings! It chimes your fate! I'm Papyrus! And fading the battle! Papyrus! <laughs> oh, bother. Oh, guys! Okay, so first of all, we give them the Christmas fish. Christmas fish. There you go. Give me more life points back. You draw a card. You draw a card! You draw a card! Normal summon. Have the mighty Christmas ornament. It's just like the sleeves! Which you can get for donating just one dollar to the Patreon! Yeah, we'll mention that at the, the time. I have a, in the I'm time. donating it now! Okay. Yeah, I guess you could do whatever. Uh, yeah, it's, oh, yeah, that's the whole, it's the, the hard leg Sa Santa Claus handing you the gift of a sphere mode. Like, enjoy. Have, have, yeah. Yeah. Be one with your inner Christmas. He's getting rid of it, Joe. Oh, no! That didn't take long. I needed that back! <laughs> you can't target it with the tax or card effects. If I had gotten it back to my side, I could have tributed for Ra, which can be targeted by card effects and therefore probably would have lost me the duel. Yeah, I think I've pretty much lost this anyway. You'd be doomed! If he has a Widow Anchor, he could just take this and start making stuff, unless I fucked up all his rays and he can't, like... I'll anchor your Widow. Nope. He anchored my widow. Look at it over there. Black Being widow, naughty. widow maker. Oh hey, Link Karibo. I remember that guy. I would hope so. Attack for three hundred. Oh, foolish burial goods. I like foolish burial of or with belongings or of belongings better. Yeah, a lot what, of the, not, uh, <laughs> what. what? <laughs> Feliz Navidad! Feliz Natal! I beat the best deck. Yeah, wins the best. We get a win. Wins the best, lost the best. Yep, he can't handle getting sphere moded. He can't handle with it. <laughs> it reminds me of that Simpsons clip where, like, Homer and Bart are racing each other, clicking pens. Mm -hmm. He's like, Lisa, Bart said this is stupid, gave up, and I won! <laughs> Like, pretty much. Next duel. <laughs> Alrighty then, here we are, third duel versus Rainbow Dragon 99. I'm having a very Irish Christmas. It's okay, I'm half Irish, I can do that. No, you're not. Uh, I'm Irish and German. I am designed and built to drink beer, and I'm, I do not. I'm pretty sure your last name <laughs> is not <laughs> Irish or German. Don't tell people you even my fake last name. Because then I'm, if, if I leave it in... They're going to be like, oh, well, he left it in, so that's not his real last name. And then they'll be able to narrow it down. Over the next ten years, they'll just start marking off, and they'll be like, how many Joes in Missouri not named are there, really? <laughs> I think you're a little paranoid there. I am very paranoid! It's okay, I'm not going to blow anything up, though. Well, thank God for that. Yeah, just letting you know, it's okay, you don't have to worry about it. Oh, hey, it's Ixtab. And Matesma. They have they have a new Link monster. Did you know about mm -hmm. that? Also, you might want to lean just a little bit away. No, from I'm going to get this close to the microphone. You nodded and your glasses hit it. So, I think that's a little too close. Maybe just... just. <sighs> no, I'm going to get right next to it. Comment in the comments if you like it when uh, Cardsworth inhales the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> just like... <laughs> Just Comment the... in the comments if you can deep throw a microphone. Send pics. <laughs> or it didn't happen. Yep. Oh, hey. It's it's Lair of Darkness, Dark Lord. But he doesn't have Lair of Darkness yet. It's it's a Dark Dark deck. 
You got something against the darks, Joe? No. It's, I You're mean, dark with red hair. D don't. No. Stop it. Dark Lord. Condemned. Ooh. Soul Karge. He's already spent so many But it's many okay. He points. can't go into his battle phase in his first turn anyway. I know. I'm just wondering, like, so... Do you think he's going to give up as soon as I uh, as soon as you spear spear mode him? He has no resources left. Exactly. He might. I can't wait for this. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Oh, just play your damn card before I he just leaves because you you're gift. annoying. I hope you like it. <laughs> also a messenger of peace and that there you go <laughs> well he didn't surrender immediately congratulations rainbow man I'll be taking that back thank <laughs> you um pay 100 life points sure uh no actually no. he didn't have anything and I, how often do I get to summon Ra in this day and age Yes, I actually play Ra. Here's 4,000 Tickle to the face. There you go. Here, it's okay. Have a fish. You're supposed to be teaching yourself humility. I know. Sorry about that. Have a fish. <laughs> but, I mean, it's Christmas for the fans, too. How often in the Water Deck are they going to see Ra ever again? Never. Never ever again, I'm not playing a raw deck. But you know what? You got it here. Merry Christmas. I hope you enjoyed seeing Ra attack over a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, Monster Reborn. So oh, her. holy night. Hello. He's going to tribute himself and draw a card. And then that happens. Um... Reincarnation. <laughs> what was the point of that? So he didn't get his deck devastation virus, of course. I don't want to be devastated by a deck. Do you? Yes. Okay. He's I pay got... extra for the devastation. He's got many things. You could devastate my deck anytime. As long as it's slowly... Well, there goes my life. <laughs> um, go away. Mm. You're very rude and I don't like you. Raw wins! Raw uh, wins! Oh, Victory hey, by oh, the effect of Raw! I've learned nothing this Christmas! Ooh. Humbuggery for all! Atheist win! Checkmate! <laughs> And here we are, fourth duel, brought to you by Patreon sponsor, Hobzy, another newer patron. I'm getting all the new patrons on here, just because, you, you know, that's, that's how it is. It's, it's dang old Christmas time, and I want to give them the Dave greeting and seasons. Hey, can I activate this now? No, I can't, because I can't draw any more. Do you suppose he's playing a banana deck? There's surely 40 banana-themed cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Probably. I mean, I can think of World Carrot Weight Champion. That's like a banana. It's <laughs> an orange banana. It's like a banana, but with fundamental differences. Jesus! <laughs> Reincarnation. Oh, oh Chaos Max. He I'm appears going to, to be die. playing Blue Eyes. And the stupid vegetable rituals. Uh, they're not. They're based off of like talismans and books and stuff. That's clearly a vegetable. It's, it's a talisman. It's he's wearing a talisman, but it's clearly a vegetable. I don't know about all that. And then I have the reincarnation. Yeah, but I don't. I don't want to spread no religious propaganda, so I'm not going to tell him about that. Then why'd you print fifty three thousand copies of the Brobel, Joe? I uh, just very important. It's for my own is that, use. Is that a new Patreon reward? It's for personal use. <laughs> 53,000 copies? <laughs> yes. One for every day of the week? I just wonder if... I wonder if anyone's ever actually, like, been been indicted on, like, printing, like, uh, illegal materials or, like, 
How come you had like 3,200 pistols in your house? Personal, Second Amendment. Personal use. <laughs> I need that many for defense. <laughs> for my 3,200 hands. Yes. So that I can shoot everybody at once. Through the power of magic. Hey, I survived. It's I was kind worried of magic. about this stuff. Dang, I, he, 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 I'm not sure if he had a hand, but he, uh, he doesn't anymore. Well, he I added guess. two blue Dargons to his hand. Yep. With the guitar guy. Oh, yeah. Uh, Silent Wobby makes your hand size limit become three. Mm. So, <laughs> <laughs> simply sitting on your hand is not going to work for you. <laughs> Oof. Sorry about that. Here, have a better monster. <laughs> more attack and more cards it's a Christmas miracle <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle also it's a holy day of peace <laughs> it's almost Christmas Yu-Gi-Oh can you spell Christmas no it's a very long very difficult to spell thing and he gets to draw a card Santa gives to. you cards. Please, please stop. <laughs> You're ruining my ears, and I don't even have to listen to it through, through like uh, being audio filtered and whatever. <laughs> now sing the, sing the "It's Time to Yule" song instead. Bingo machine, go, go, go! go! This is like an eighty dollar card. Is it? If you happen to pull it? Yeah. Does it exist in America? Yep. Hmm. That's, that's why it's an $80 card. I mean... Like a 200,000 yen card. Okay. It yep. didn't seem to do much. Yep. OCG card. It's a uh, reveal three cards that list blue eyes. Mm-hmm. Or, or blue eyes ultimate dragon except itself. And then you uh, add one of them randomly to your mm -hmm. hand. So it's like a searcher for the entire archetype. Oh, you put out the candles for yeah. Santa. This is This is the closest I could get to having a Hanukkah card. I gotta light the four, four candles. Four nights of Hanukkah. Yeah, I did the first four. You ain't gonna get the rest. <laughs> it's the four nights of Uganica. Uganica. No, see if I get another. If uh, all I gotta do is get another one, and I'll have all eight candles. There you go. It'll be nice. And then the Maccabees will celebrate with all the niceness of. The... See, this one's a feather. That one's a feather. It's a quill. Actually. That one's a candle. That's a candle. The other one is a like a rutabaga. I'm pretty sure it's a talisman. It's wearing a talisman. It's a talisman wearing a talisman. No, it's a rutabaga or a, a vegetable of some sort. Is this Zaborg the Mega Monarch? Yes, that is Zaborg the Mega Monarch. What are you doing here, Zaborg? Um, tributing. Tributing himself. To do something. Something, man. Everything's like something, man. Confirm nine cards. Okay. Uh, Looks like nine. Let's see. Target one more. Okay, so he's going to send eight. Yep. Oh, and he sent... <laughs> And then she's going to blow stuff up, and then he's going to search a whole bunch of things. No, my candles! Oh, my. Why I got to be anti-Semitic? I would use that. Yeah. Well, Boku. Truly the best card in the deck. Ten out of ten. Yep. You got to get the Virgin Mary in there. <laughs> and her two sisters. And her two sisters, yeah. And her two blue sisters. What if, they're not, what if they're not sisters? What if it's an orgy? A nun orgy? I don't believe that. There could be those. lesbian nun orgies. Oh, also, since he destroyed that, Christmas light dragon! Make yourself known! Um. Hmm. Let's go for. This <laughs> yeah, so this guy, he's, he's actually really neat. I'm surprised this isn't used as a tech more. It's if your opponent banishes or destroys a spell trap, you can summon this, then get a spell trap in your graveyard or that is banished. And set it on the field. Oh, you got no choice, Joe. Oh, no. It's okay, I will Boku. Yeah, he's going for the whole uh, Chaos Max o OTK thing, because it does the double piercing damage. Except I have 10,000 thanks to a fish. A fish came and gave me 10,000 life points. I think you're hitting the eggnog a little too much again. 
It's okay. I don't. I don't drink. You talking about that fish? I told you that was your neighbor. <laughs> Just because his last name is Trout doesn't mean he gave you a fish. Ooh, double chaos form. He's just getting all the cards out of his hand because he knows his hand's going to be gone. I probably should have just gotten another Wabaku. That's what I was thinking you were going to do, but you didn't because you're a doofus. That's very nice. You ain't going to do nothing. It's a pity I I Wabaku. Wabaku. Because Chaos Max is <sighs> awesome. God, you sound like a six-year-old now. Also, Larry, that's awesome! I, I got another gift for you. The majestic Christmas ornament. <laughs> you type so painfully slow. There you go. <laughs> no! no! Use it. Use the incarnation, boy. Oh, did you already have one of those? <laughs> See, I feel like I type pretty fast. I didn't know you were like expert, like typist. What uh, do you? What? What are your words per minute, Mavis, Mavis Beacon? <laughs> I don't remember. I, we could do a typing test. I mean, if, if you want to type to him, instead of me, just dictate. No, sorry, I'm. I'm. You tied my hands up before this duel started. Secretary, take a letter. Take two letters. Take three letters. Should I give him another Santa, or should I summon it on my side of the field? Oh, so we have I don't know. Santas. He's only got nine cards left. Can you, okay. Can you outlast him? Probably. you got 1,200 attack. I've got 10,000 life. And remember, I you're trying to go for humility here. I I mean, I that's the thing. is like it, It's not humble. If I just lose on purpose, it's not humble. It's humbling. When I try to win and I fail, because I I well like, then try to win with his eight cards left. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to win by stalling him out forever. I'm still hoping he'll draw a little more and then I can reincarnate him again. Are you not gonna attack for a zero? I mean, he could, with his plant, that is definitely a vegetable wearing a talisman. More fish. Or not. You like fish, right? Some people don't like seafood, Joe. What More he, fish? What if he's one of these seafood Nazis? Or do you not like fish? Called by the grave on my other fish! Can't you just do it again? <laughs> We're just gonna stand here all day <laughs> negating Santa. That's going on the naughty list. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> all right, fine. I'll set that. Santa can't get over it. <laughs> There we go. That would be half his... It's a Christmas fish miracle. <laughs> Never have I been negated so heavily. Droll and Lockbird. <laughs> Alright. Whatever, man. You know what this... Attack with a I guess zero. he doesn't know what it is. Don't att Never attack with a zero. It can't even beat over another zero. I'm aware of this. I remember when they changed that rule. Oh, they changed that? Or they at least clarified it that a zero attack cannot destroy anything. Because I think it used to be, what if a zero attacks a zero, would they destroy each other? You know, same attack. And then I think they finally came out and said, no, it doesn't work like that. A zero cannot attack a zero. That would be half his hand, half his deck if you milled him right here. I know. I feel bad. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Don't lie to your opponent. You're supposed to be humble. I am humble. I Lying is not humble. I'm not lying. I do feel kind of bad. He tried to make this cool deck. And I was not doing it. Oh, hey, another Mega Monarch. 
Well, I guess I need to get whatever the spider's name was in Charlotte's Web to write humble above your stall here. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell people about my stall. You don't want them knowing you record from a bathroom? No. I mean, that's how you do get out of here so quick when you're like, I'm going to go pee and be right back, and then two seconds later you're back streaming again. That's because I'm in a basement. <laughs> Joe, that doesn't explain anything. Yeah, it doesn't really Oh, it explains you. more than you know. I mean, I guess it does because the litter box is also in the basement. You're using Rocco's litter box. The cat can share. Behold! The Christmas refugee. <laughs> He's there to remind you that there are people less fortunate in this world than you. That are not welcome in this country. <laughs> rude. Very rude. This guy's clearly welcome in the country. He's got a sword and everything. Hey, hey. We only want the skilled people here. They have to take a test that proves they love America. We cannot have unfortunate souls coming here from under the sea and getting around our wall. They have to swim here legally, Joe. Controversial opinion. Possibly. Yay, draw more cards. And then draw more, and then... There we go. No, stop it. Ash Blossom? <laughs> Called by the grave? Is he gonna go after... Sphere mode! No! How am I supposed to sphere mode you now? I'm not sure if it works like that. Oh, but he has one less card either way. Yeah! 300! Every time your opponent summons, I get 300 life points. Well, and if it's 10,000 or higher... Yep. You can't attack because of the goblin wing. The Christmas angel and the Christmas refugee have teamed up. Santa will not allow it. Maybe he has a rank 6 monster he could overlay. Bananas rule. I don't know, he banished most of his extra deck. I didn't even know he had an extra deck. Well, why are you looking in his graveyard for his banished cards? Because he already know he sent most of it to the graveyard. So he can't make his Thunder Dragon? Battle phase? Not quite. <laughs> Think again! He can go to his battle phase. He just yeah. can't do anything! <laughs> well... Prevents attacks. Also, have more balls. I, th this is not what this deck is supposed to do. This is like the only time I've ever won and be ups and been upset about it. You haven't won yet, Joe. I've won. You know I've won. You've left him with a rank ten play. A rank dead. I don't think he could do enough damage of this turn. <laughs> that does more damage than if you had just attacked with Manju. <laughs> or less damage. Okay, well I won't do anything this turn. He gets one last card. That's the card well, that puts everything back in his deck and starts it over what again. I intended. But I hope you had a Merry fun Christmas. at least. And regardless, I do wish you a happy holiday season. We say Merry Christmas in America. <laughs> King Trump brought it back. He stopped the war on the holiday. And we could say Merry Christmas again. I'm not sure how... how yeah, he did. I could, I could say both. Also, I'm not, you, you sound legitimately angry when you yell like that. I'm not sure if anyone knows like how sarcastic you are or which side you're being sarcastic towards. Same. Yeah! We may have won, but his Christmas spirit isn't broken. His heart grew three sizes that day. And then he had a heart attack. That would because be bad. that was very bad. I saw that film theory. Oh, do cup of ace. I can't, because he didn't have cards he could potentially oh. draw. That's unfortunate. Good game. And to all a good... Good game. All a good night. <laughs> yeah. Christmas. 
Miracle 2 actually wins. WTF. <laughs> Yeet! Yeet. Yeet. Yep. What M duel is it? Five. Oh, okay. We're here yeeting in the fifth duel. <laughs> I'm Elfsworth Joe, f joined by Captain Leg Santa. <laughs> Are you sure you haven't been dipping into the eggnog? Ho, ho. Oh. As you can see, Merry Christmas. We are playing Deli Bird like Delivers. That. Let's go and give him a gift. Present exchange. Have the cup of ace, because it's possible that might do something good for me, too. He doesn't appear to be very willing to give up the <laughs> gift, Joe. Hard to say. Hopefully I don't get a shirt with Voltic Kong on it. Or, I'm sorry, Scrap Kong? I forget. Somebody listening in the uh, video, send a shirt with Voltic Kong to the P.O. Box. I would love to get that shirt in the P.O. Box. That would be hilarious. Um, also, have a fish. Thanks, Thanks Dad. Dad. Go to your room. <laughs> Go to your room and think about what you've done, and don't you dare look at your Playboys. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Your move, holy man. Oh, I got a spiral gear drone! Just what we always wanted! I love drones! Just what I always wanted! Wait, you're that YouTuber. Dot, dot, dot. No. I'm... Clearly, Santa. <laughs> <laughs> Winky face. We've, More cards! We've been made, Joe. <laughs> we've been had. They saw through my beard. <laughs> no, I think they saw through the name tag you put on your coat. <laughs> that too. That's weird, yeah, I... It, Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Yeet. So Spiral Resort. Ah, nice little Christmas Christmas gift. Or Christmas. To go to a resort? Yep. I can use this to make a... Uh, whatchamacallit? Link Karibo. So it actually does work out. Although I'm probably going to die a million times here. I wonder what my next card is. Show me Sphere Mode! Um, Might as well use it. Waboku. Nope, well, it's Ra. It <laughs> it's the least useful <laughs> one. The holy lady will protect me this silent night. <laughs> holy lady's gone, Joe. It's okay, her spirit lives on. It's like that Dream Theater song, you know the one. It's not quite Dream Theater. I'm not sure if you're aware of them. They're like a progressive metal band. <laughs> I don't think they've done a hula hoop. Oh, ex excuse me then. We're going to go to the... A ripping through flesh is what I do best. I amputate an arm, amputate the rest. Eyes removed, cranium smashed. Shove the entrails into a sack. Oh, I, uh, excuse me? Uh, pardon me, that doesn't sound very Christmassy at all. There was a sack involved. <laughs> Santa uses a sack, therefore it is Christmas. Oh, there's a lot of things on with sacks on Pornhub. I don't think it's very Christmassy either. Why are you making a unicorn? I don't know, they changed their logo to be Christmassy. So I'm told. <laughs> I mean, I would know. I didn't actually go. I'm not, I'm not one of those dirty porn watcher people. Yeah. I like how Cup of Ace has a shiny thing in the middle. What are you doing? I'm sitting here. No, this guy. He's making Troy Mares. Not Troy Mares, they're Nightmares. The OCG says Troy Mares. Yeah. The card art, they haven't updated. They used to make HD card art, and then they stopped, at least as far as I could tell. If anyone out there knows where I can get, like, updated HD card art or how to get that to work, let me know. Because I, I barely even look at the picture anymore. I just look at the name, and then I've memorized all these ID numbers down mm. here so that I see that. I'm like, oh, 0447 that Spiral Gear Drone. 
Of course. Of course. As, as you do. Oh, hey, he's linked everything together. In that little corner, though. He's giving yeah. us a free corner on the other side. He really should have gone this way, and then he could have maybe done, like, an extra link shenanigan or something like that. Wait, terraforming. Didn't he shuffle that back in the deck? That's how he's getting it out of the deck now. <laughs> Brilliant. Big brain. <laughs> biggest brain. Everyone tells me I have the biggest brain. Believe me. The biggest brain. Shuffle card back into deck. So can... Can search. Can search again. I am in awe. I misclick. I misclick. Oh. I, I, well, now you just sound like a dick, don't you? I didn't think that was... <laughs> oh. I was... <laughs> I was... I thought... I'm sorry. <laughs> My mistake. I thought that was actually, like, a big thing, and I was looking goofy for yeah. being, like, insulting him, and he's like, oh, that was actually a mistake, and... My bad. I hope you can forgive me and don't eat on me. Eat toxic eat YouTuber. on me. <laughs> yes, you are toxic YouTuber. I'm not. What's YouTube? Oh, God. I'm been Santa. <laughs> ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. Who would know? Out on the play field. Happy Chanaka. That's not even how you spell it remotely at all. I didn't say Hanukkah, I said Chanaka. Ho ho ho, happy Chanaka. It's like Hanukkah, just with fundamental differences. Is it so it's a Christmas that the Jews celebrate? Yeah. Pretty much. Can Christians celebrate the Jew Day? Then? Our ours is better. We have twenty four candles and we light all of them, one each hour. As we watch a 24 marathon, and every time a new episode starts, we light another candle. I'm oddly intrigued by this. <laughs> I like this holiday, actually. Is he going to run out of time? Well, I'll take it. Don't remind him. No. Don't run out of time. <sighs> oh, okay, he didn't forget. Up on the reindeer, something flies. Out comes bugs out of my eyes. <laughs> it's so that doesn't sound very Christmassy either. It's so horrific. Look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck. Yes. <laughs> um. Let's see. Select an order. That. Yeah. That. That. <laughs> there we go. So much blue on the field. Yep. I feel a pity for anyone who's blue colorblind. Daba dee, daba die. I mean, what can I say? Listen up, here's a story about a blue guy with blue house and all his shit is blue. That was a very entertaining story. Why is Santa's leg hard? Because Mrs. Claus is wearing a tube top. Polio. <laughs> <laughs> They didn't eradicate it in the North Pole. No, not at all. Jonas Salk's vaccine package got lost on the way. Santa was an ax <laughs> F. Santa was an anti-vaxxer, and it didn't turn out for him. Uh, no, well, or not, well, I... Mrs. Claus said essential no. oils were all you needed. <laughs> I, I've heard someone, I was expecting a sex joke, to be honest. Tell him Cardsworth See? made the sex joke. <laughs> That's what Elf Cardsworth was saying. But he doesn't know comedy. <laughs> you gotta defy expectations. <laughs> Not as, See, that's the thing everyone's like, oh, it's a hard leg. GG's, love your content, amigos. GG's. I think we're gonna lose, Joe. Well, we've got a battle fader. He doesn't know that. You don't know that. What if he has anti-battle fader hand trap? I don't think he does. It's Trigate Wizard. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that seems to be doing something. The Christmas bell! 
It didn't ring. Didn't oh. ring. Hear them ring. Uh, does he have enough to kill me with Soon the 10,000 life points? it will be OTK. Again. Ring-a-ling. We'll see, I don't know, because everything's attack is lowered. I might just survive and then top deck raw sphere mode and then die because yeah. I have no... <laughs> Maybe you'll get the Christmas bitch that'll hold the goblins back. And... No, because he can he can banish the card once per turn. Well, then maybe you'll get all things. five pieces of Exodia on one draw in a deck that doesn't run them. I'm still alive. Cowboy for game? Is there a Link Cowboy that does, like, it's burn damage? It's a Christmas damage? miracle! <laughs> Is there not a Link Cowboy you can go into that just does damage? No. Not as far as I know. That face when you don't make something. <laughs> <laughs> I should have made Boral Sword. On Santa? Rude. Very rude. Come on, Sphere Mode. Come on, feel the no- There's Christmas, bitch. Yep, he can negate it. Maybe he won't know that. Yeah! <laughs> He'll be like, why is it highlighting my card? I don't want to do nothing. <laughs> okay. He's just going to banish it during the end phase. No, I gave him twin twisters, remember? Yeah, I remember. Or, yeah, he's going to use... And also, Spiral Sleeper can blow stuff up, so... Yeah, this is duel's over. It's I'll, fine. I'll mark this down as a loss, and we'll change it later if things happen. <laughs> Where'd everything go? Oh. It's okay. Spiral Sleeper just destroyed everything. Hmm. Big, Big Brain. Big Brain. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> oh, why, hello there. Welcome to the halfway point in the video. Are you enjoying yourself so far? Are you having a nice and dandy old time enjoying the Christmas gift episode? Well, if you're feeling giving during this season, I have a Patreon. This is an ad-free channel, so the only way I make any money where I can continue to make lovely content like this is through the Patreon. If you'd like to support, just something as small as a dollar really helps out. You'll get these sleeves I made, the negation, the deck itself. You can join my Discord. There's a lot you get for a dollar. And if you want to go higher than a dollar, you get even more stuff. So, you know, if you want to get presents, if you want to give presents, you, you could do that. I've also got a donation link down in the description just to my PayPal. You know, I don't really bring that up that much. But, you know, it's around Christmas. If you wanted to give me, like, 50 cents less than a dollar, you could... You won't get any rewards except for a feeling of satisfaction, but hey, some people like that. And you know what? If you can't afford to give, if you don't want to give, that's fine too. I just like to bring it up. Just like to ask people a nice, kind request. People need to be reminded. You'd be you'd be surprised when I ask people to do stuff how often it happens compared to just naturally doing stuff. Anyway, you know what? That's enough. Let's get back into this episode. Let's get back to having a nice, fun time. Turn the fire back on. Get the chestnuts back out of the microwave. We're going we're gonna to do this. Hot chocolate. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are. The sixth duel past the halfway point. And then this duel is brought to you thanks to Patreon sponsor Fatboy Casey. Who I had asked, I was like, hey man, do, do you really want your name to be Fatboy Casey? And he was like, yeah, keep it all in. And I was like, you got it. So thanks to him down at the comments, he is unafraid of who he is. And what he is. And he's another newer patron. This this whole episode, I'm doing a lot of the newer patrons who normally don't give shout-outs. Um, a lot of new faces. And putting them here, so instead of just giving, um, uh, not a million Lily, he hasn't got shouts. Uh, <laughs> Joe Average, like a millionth shout-out. I mean, he still gets his for the month, but you know, it's not, you know what I mean, I'm saying. I mean, you could shout-out Captain Cardsworth, he's a patron. Yeah, he has a he's channel a, over on the he, side. Yeah, link, link down in the description. Yeah. Well, not in the description. It's on the sidebar of the whole channel. Yeah, well, I'm telling you to put it down in the description, too. Oh, well, People are already reading the description, so you're going to put it in there with everything else. You'll have to remind me when the episode comes out in like a week and a half. You're supposed, to, you're, you're supposed to take notes when you do the editing. No. I'm talking to future you and you, Joe. I'm being multitasking. I mean, even I edit it, and then it's like a week later it goes up. Just just send me a message. I'll remember to do it. Mm, mm-hmm. Anyway, Prozac Boy Roy here is uh, playing... Yu-Gi-Oh. 
Yeah, he's playing, he's doing prank kids. Um, these guys actually just won a uh, big European YCS, like first place. Well, then they're about to get banned. Uh, no, probably it's it's kind of, it's widely considered a fluke. It's or not one of it's one of these. Uh, I've yet to come kind of come up with a name for it. There's a uh, there's a YouTuber I like called Todd in the Shadows who reviews like music. He does like pop song reviews and stuff, and he talks about like the fluke indie hit of the year. He's like, where every year it seems like some band that has like a banjo and like an acoustic guitar manages to make their way to the top ten <laughs> among all the other like mumble rap and uh, like techno like dance songs and stuff like that. And it seems like every year there's always some deck that manages to squeak out like a YCS victory despite by all means not being all that good. It was weird. I actually watched the feature match the like the final between this and Thunder Dragons and it's like it was clear that the guy playing Thunder Dragons had no idea what any of these cards <laughs> did. He's, like, trying to read all this stuff as he plays. He's like, I didn't prepare to play Prank Kids. I don't know how to defeat Prank Kids. I didn't side anything against Prank Kids. <laughs> They're very low representation. Well, maybe you should take your Christmas gift to a YCS. I, I doubt it would do very good. But it might get notoriety, have... and then you might finally get noticed beyond the 300 subscribers you have. Maybe. I'd have to, I'd have to leave the house to do that, though. I'll I'll write to Konami, see if we can get it hosted here. <laughs> YCS Missouri, in some guy's basement. YCS bathroom stall. So here we go. Limit eight contestants. <laughs> Tops. That, that, yeah, that's a lot of people in one bathroom stall. Yeah. If you're overweight, and you, and you we might have to count you. And you kind of big, like... Yeah. If, if you're our size, we're going to count you as two people. Hey, airlines already do. I know. That's at why least, I don't fly there. At least Southwest will give you back the money for the second seat. I'm too fat. They're United good. and whatever the other one is, uh, they just make you pay for it. Yep. That's, that's, see, that's why I don't leave the house. That's why you specifically don't ever leave the house, because yes. you know that Southwest charges <laughs> for an extra seat. Exactly. That has nothing to do with you going to the store to get donuts. My parents are like, why don't you ever go shopping? And I'm like, Southwest is going to charge me for an extra seat if I get on a plane. And they're like, the store is just right across the street. I'm like, do I look like I give a fuck about uh, details? Fuck. Semantics. That's what that's, I was yeah, trying to that's say. The and one. I, you and your semantics. Uh, but yeah, th this is like a link, link spam kind of deck. They can make a whole bunch of like link fours and they tribute during the opponent's turn. Last year, what was it? A lot of people pointed out, because a lot of people like, Prank Kids? New best deck? And it's like, no. No, probably not. Here comes Wally, here hey comes there. Wally, have yourself a fish. Oh. Yep, so they just stall, he just like summons and buy, get to more things. Thanks bro, Merry Christmas. He didn't capitalize it though, he's not a true believer. <laughs> he's not a believer. But yeah, it, what was it, it was a uh, World Chalice basically won with the same strategy mm. last year. We're like, they came in, and they just did a bunch of link spam, and no one knew how to fight against them, so things happened. But going back to Belieber, did you know that Justin Bieber is married now? Uh, no. So, sorry to all of you in the audience who are Justin Bieber fans. I know uh, Stark Maximum was really looking forward to uh, <laughs> going on a date with Bieber. I know this is behind the dog, but it looks like he's wearing a Naruto headband. It's pronounced bleach, Joe. <laughs> Just a prank. Christmas is no prank. <laughs> it's for real. I seen Santa on TV. And then I became Santa. <laughs> and then you saw him kissing Santa Claus. And there's an elf. Right next to me. Yeah, see, it's like it, it's weird that you're like, man, you type so slow, and it's like I use both hands and everything. Most of the time, I hear like, oh man, you type, and it's like someone with like one finger, like hunting and pecking. The stuff's going on. I don't know, man. Yeah, you're supposed to prank kids. Whether is that like an hourglass machine jizzing onto something? It's an octopus. 
is jizzing onto something. No. Sure he's... looks like he's having an orgasm. There's a shiny white stuff coming out between his legs, and he's got, like, the O face going. I don't know how your O face goes. You can see, it's not an O. It's like a smile. It's like an yeah, he's smile. extremely happy that the release is coming. <laughs> Comment in the comments with what you think. Um, <laughs> it's, it's a prank kids weather jizzing on the card. Let's see. We've got our Christmas bird. The good old delicious turkey. Uh, I forget why I put this in here. I think it was if part you, of some original combo, and I uh, forgot. If you wanted Christmas turkey, why didn't you just put Christmas turkey in there? Or mild turkey. Uh, I like wild turkey. Whatever it, it is. Work. Or then um, ghost beef is also in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Your opponent cannot target it with card effects, and it can't be destroyed by card effects if you put it in the center. So if I have this and then the thing that stops it from being like attacked by battle or whatever, it's just invincible. So they destroy my spell traps. Yeah, see, he's just got a whole bunch of shit. That'd be a great time for Raigeki. Yep, but I don't play that. Because you're a fool. Set. <laughs> Set. Your move, holy man. We're sitting here setting things. We could be playing Overwatch's Maze Snowball Adventure. Yep. More gifts! Never mind. I don't Ned. Rude. You don't Ned. Oakley Dokley. <laughs> I don't Ned. And my name's not Ned. It's Heisenberg. <laughs> it's Heisenberg. I watched the first two episodes of that once and then... Yeah, Breaking... I didn't get into it. Uh, I watched like the first six and it was just like nothing's happening. Oh. Like, this is boring. I really liked the first two episodes, but uh, I only watched them because I was dating a girl who had Netflix, and then I stopped, and then I didn't have Netflix anymore. Are you opening your soda away from the microphone so it doesn't make additional noise? I was trying to. <laughs> I mean... There you go. That's the card's worth I know. And it's not a soda, it's nondescript sparkling flavored water. Gross. Why would you pay for something like that? Because I don't drink soda. Well, isn't sparkling water just the same thing as soda? There's nothing in that. It's unsweetened. It's just flavored water with bubbles. You can't see it, but I'm squinting with disbelief. Isn't it, that... What's... Uh, whatever. It takes some getting used to. It's fine. Look, he made Boral Sword. He's going to try to OTK me. What he doesn't know is that he's not going to be able to attack through my, my uh, Hanukkah... Here. Your half menorah? Yeah, my half menorah. Your Hanora? Yeah. Half a menorah, half a menorah, half a menorah, and you go with the thing. I think that song needs a few more lyrics, Joe. Yep, I've run out of things to say because I didn't know that these uh, were so... To be fair, when I watched the uh, the like feature match or whatever, mm -hmm. I watched it at like 1.5 speed because Yu-Gi-Oh! is kind of a slow game. And also, the guy kept asking questions about what prank kids do, so it <laughs> took a little bit of time. So yeah, you know, we'll cut, we'll be back. We'll be back when something happens. <laughs> oh, he went into the battle phase. He's like, I've got so many. The Hanukkah candles save Christmas. <laughs> Damn it. Dement. Dement. <laughs> And now I'm going to gain more life points. Yay. Rude. Dat, dat, dat. Rude. Make it even harder for him to attack. <laughs> Christmas Angel says no. Uh, monsters in this column. Yeah, I'm good. I'm fine. Because I can't put it in the center column, and that's mm. the one that I want to do. I could put it over on the right most or left most, and it would be at 23, but that's not enough to get over anything. More life points going for me. La 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 la. But yeah, he could tribute this and destroy all. This is like a quick play uh, heavy storm. They're all kind of quick. They're all like during the opponent's turn, like tribute to do a thing, either summon stuff from the graveyard or put stuff back in the deck. This one can tribute to uh, destroy all spell traps, and the, they, they have a battle butler that tributes to destroy all monsters. 
which is probably what he wants to try hey, to summon. Hey, his name is Rip Roarin' Roaster? Yeah. Oh, come on. He's like a big, it's just a prank, bro. It's just doodle, a prank. Doodle doodle doo. Yeah. Do -do -do no, dodo doodle doo. Dodo doodle doo. And bow wow bark. <laughs> And Boral Sword Dragon. Yeah, yes, I got that one. One of these things is not like the, the other. other. One of these things is dead. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Christmas time is here. I should have brought this to a YCS. It would have been able to beat the top deck. Yep. Who would have thought? Why am I winning so much? Because this, it's Christmas. I built two. It's a Christmas miracle. Next to Hanukkah Hoedown. Next to Next to it's a crazy Kwanzaa catastrophe. It's a roundabout Ramadan rush. All right. <laughs> oh, it's Arthur. Yay! DW got out of my cookie jar or something. I Dora sure Winifred. Dora Winifred. What episode Seven. is it? Seventh? Okay. And I, okay, so I don't need to give a shout. Yeah, I could just... Did you watch Arthur as a kid? Yeah. Okay. A little bit. I did not. Crazy, crazy boss! Oh. Oh. But Bye. Mr. Ratburn. Merry Christmas. Binky. I bring you this message of peace. Hi. Damn. And the Christmas turkey. And the present card. Unaffected by all things! Unaffected by all things! And then kaiju. Yeah, probably. Terraforming. Is it Layer of Darkness? Nope. It's True Kings. It's True Kings, Joe. I know. I got you a gift. <laughs> yeah, they keep doing that. No, you make sad. make a Santa sad. <laughs> you are make a Santa sad. Mamma mia! I didn't know Santa was Italian. Well, the more you know. <laughs> There's really no like. I mean, Santa could really be from anywhere. Yeah. Could even be from a boat. I want to see Black Santa. Uh, do you see they're trying to do gender neutral Santa now? No, I, I haven't seen that. Yeah. And you know, it's like people are like, but Santa is literally Saint Nicholas, who was a man. Yeah, but the actual Saint Li Nicholas was nothing like Santa. He like beat up a guy he disagreed with to like, because he didn't like the way he was like running the church. <laughs> Yeah, well, Martin Luther was very different from Martin Luther King, so... Yeah, but neither of them is a fictional character. <laughs> I don't know, I just like this... I, I don't know, it, it, it seems kind of weird, but at the same time, I like this idea that, like, a hundred years from now, like, Santa will still exist, but he'll be seen as, like, this, like, floating, like, white creature that, like looks vaguely human but has no defining details and just sort of like hovers in like behold my children I bring on to you gifts where like they've just removed any sense of him being an actual person and he's just sort of like this like genderless raceless featureless being just like an like a being of pure energy, energy. <laughs> with a beard with a beard <laughs> he still has a beard he still has the beard <laughs> Yeah, that's, I don't, I don't know. See, I'm, I'm fine with people chase, like, if you have a fictional character, I remember when, like, people, when they first came out with Miles Morales. What? No. Oh, that doesn't target. Okay. I remember when Miles Morales first came out, there's a whole bunch of people like, Spider-Man can't be black. He's Peter Parker and he's white. And I was like, you know, there's nothing inherent, like, the, the qualities that make up Spider-Man are like, you know, great power comes great responsibility, spider powers, uh, like, lives in New York. Like, those are the only things that are really, like, key to his character. Like, he could be any race, it doesn't really matter. But with Santa, it's sort of like, I don't know, I kind of feel like the big beard is part of what makes him him. 
I'm not sure if I could, like, I can't imagine, like, a, a hairless Santa Claus. Surprise! Christmas Light Dragon! <laughs> Behold! Set one spell trap? Yes. <laughs> Get it back. Behold! Christmas Light's Dragon. Also, I did behild. <laughs> <laughs> behild thee! Behild thee! Also, I still have this. I think I might have more spell traps than he knows what to do with. He's got two level four. Is this gonna be a dino rabbit situation? He hasn't had a rabbit yet. Tornado dragon? Rude. That's the windiest of dragons, Joe. He's a rude, crude dude, and I don't like his attitude. Double evolution pill. That's a $10 card. Is it? Oh, that's not double. Yeah, that is double evolution. It's, yeah. That's like maybe eight or ten. I don't know. Well, last time I looked. Looks like the orphans will be sad did, okay. this year. <laughs> no Christmas for them. <laughs> oh, I told you, like, the, my favorite part of the, like, Mickey's Christmas Carol, didn't I? When the, uh... The people come up to Scrooge and they're like, we're collecting alms for the poor. And he's like, oh, but don't you see? If I donate money to you to give to them, then they won't be poor anymore. And you won't have a job. And you wouldn't dare ask me to put folks out of a job on Christmas, would you? Oh, that was a loss. I feel a little more humbled now. Yep. Let's go into the humbling eighth duel. <laughs> All right, here we are, Eighth Duel, brought to you by Patreon sponsor, Saint. Who the, that's just, he just goes by Saint, which is a very, very good name, perhaps Saint Nicholas. Hard to say. Wow, what a terrible hand. Here you go. Perhaps Saint Mother Teresa? Oops. Didn't they just canonize her? I don't know, maybe. I thought they did. I don't know nothing about no bibble. I'm no Bibbleman. Merry Christmas. I bring you a gift. Don't open it until next turn, though. Fifty. <laughs> Fifty-seven card deck. What are you doing? Maybe he's doing the same thing as me. What if I run into another Santa? What if you run into somebody who took your Santa deck from last year? <laughs> Who will win? Whoever wins, we all lose. Also, here, have that too. Another one. DJ Khalid is also Santa. DJ Khalid, Magnus, he is awesome guy's a rapper. I think he just makes uh, beats. All right, what did I get? A super heavy samurai <laughs> light of <laughs> Sekka. <laughs> Very nice, very nice. I confused immediately as to why Super Heavy Samurai is running spell card. Um, it, uh, if you activate this, you can't activate any more spell cards this turn. Mm -hmm. Um, well, you forced my hand. I was hoping maybe you would activate your other stuff, but you forced my hand. Okay, I was hoping you'd get Cup of Ace. But yeah, this is, uh, if you activate this, you can't activate any other spell cards this turn. Oh, now he has it. Oh, uh -oh. no! And then also you can banish it from your graveyard to, uh, draw one card and then put one card from your hand back on top of your deck. So it's perfect for super heavy samurais because, um, it banishes itself from the graveyard so they can still activate all their stuff. And you don't run any spells anyway. Although, what was it? It stops you from using spell effects, so there's certain, like, equip cards and stuff that normally, or, like, monsters treated as equip cards can't activate because they're technically spell effects. He's got a bow and arrow. None of this is Christmassy. None of this is Christmassy at you all. You haven't seen Santa Claus use his bow and arrow? <laughs> How never... do you think he deals with houses that have, like, pit bulls? <laughs> The day after Christmas, thousands of pit bulls were slain. I mean, it's the whole thing about, you know, the night Santa went crazy. 
the night Santa went crazy. The night Chris Kringle went nuts and he did something with the something something and then something about something but there's the um, National Guard and the FBI. There we go. There's a van for me. It's a great old Weird Al song if you never heard it before. It's one of those things that only could have been made in the 90s. If you made that now, people would be like, wow, so edgy. And the bullets are flying, the body counts rising, and everyone's dying to know. Oh, Santa, why? I'll take my Grammy now. You're welcome. I hope everyone enjoyed this. If 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 you have anything, if you have any comments to give about Cardsworth about his performance <laughs> on this episode, go to the Cardsworth channel and say it on one of his videos. Let him know there. That's the only way to make sure that he'll see it. <laughs> I look at the comments of all the videos I'm in. <laughs> yeah, but not necessarily like days and days after the video goes I up. Sometimes I sometimes go back through, but not always. I mean, you could just like tell me like, "Hey, look, you need to read what, you know, Jackass McGee here said about you." I don't know. Usually if Jackass McGee is saying stuff about you, I'm like, "I think it's, I think it's better if he just <laughs> didn't know that, that that was said. You'd probably be a lot happier." Oh no, 800. Why is the samurai attacking me in attack mode? That's not something that super heavy samurai should be doing. Maybe this one does. Oh boy. Um, Tribute his thing for the thing. Uh, here comes Santa Claus. Yep, and I have nothing to protect me, so if he can OTK me this turn, there's just there's just nothing I can do. And that's part of the risk, part of the reward, part of the yep. game, Joe. You don't always win. You gotta sometimes get OTK to I lose. Just, I just gotta hope he can get a third monster on board. Because if not, then my sphere mode is going to be useless. Take it. It's a gift. It's a gift. A Santa. -o. Hello. <laughs> I ain't going to be a plane for you. Have you seen that from the old Mario teaches typing? <laughs> no. Oh, it's it's. I think it's like one of the first times Charles Martinet did the uh, Mario voice, and it's just like him floating, and there's just like several minutes of him just like improvising, <laughs> where he's like, "Oh, today I'm going to be teaching you typing." And I'm going to be a plane! Because he's just a floating head, and he starts, like, moving through the air, and he's like... Ha-ha! <laughs> My Christmas tree dragon! He's been very useful. What do I need to take? Probably... Waboku? <laughs> That'll save me. Aha, Kaiba! You didn't expect my Christmas tree, Dargan. Did you ever see the Dark Side of Dimensions movie? Mm-hmm. I just I recently watched Civet made like everything wrong with it, sort of thing. Um, ow! Don't rude. How come he didn't want to use that? But yeah, he, he recently made one. I had no idea that it ended with a. Uh, Kaiba building technology to go into the fucking spirit realm so that he could face a Tem. Like, like what? <laughs> I'm sorry, are you dead while alive somehow? What the fuck? How does that make any sense? What does this guy do? Target one spell trap on the field, destroy it, and if you do... Eh. Waboku. No... Yeah, I'm doomed. This guy can destroy my spell traps, and I need those to exist in order to survive. Well, that's what you get for fighting a fat ninja clock thing. That's what you get when you let your heart win. Whoa! And look, he's even got a little face on his belly. Who? The fat guy. This guy? And he's got his eyes, his eyebrows. Oh, he's a got a little cat little... face. Yeah. Yeah, he's like, no round. <laughs> Ooh, woo. Ooh, woo. Wait, what? Why can't you just have three monsters on board, bro? Please? Cause <laughs> Stop it. He's live feeding this episode. He sees that the raw is in your hand. Uh, oh, hey, look. 
super what? heavy samurai soul liberator. Why'd you go into attack mode? What are you doing? What is this? My only hope now is that I draw a fish. Show me that fish! I guess that works. <laughs> That's like a fish. I'm not sure if they have a way to get past this. <laughs> I mean, if they have the uh, the bow and arrow, they could do piercing damage, and that's going to be sad, but... Yeah, it's not as fun to say all the Christmas stuff to someone who doesn't even respond. He's going to burn me to death <laughs> by destroying spell traps. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll be back. We'll go ahead and skip, because it's already almost two hours. <laughs> oh, hey. I'm being attacked. But ha-ha! The Hanukkah jar saves me again. <coughs> what will do, kangaroo? 500. I'm slowly getting back all the life points I lost previously. Also, more reincarnation. And look, I connected four. Does that mean we win? We're playing Connect Four, right? I got you. Where? There. Diagonally. Pretty sneaky, sis. Are you trying to wabaku? Well, you think I'm going to attack you? That ain't going to happen. Also, goodbye, a bear, and then your hair, and then what? What? <gasps> Stop doing things. Stop it. Get some help. Big Mac. Biggest one. No hurt. Small fry. Well. Oh, good thing his flute's gone. I was worried about that. I was like, how am I going to target it if his flute's gone? Well, he's got less cards than me, so Not all I need is 25 more turns, and maybe we could turn this around. Just remember, he has your Wabaku, he has your Trickstar Incarnate, and your Messenger of Peace. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, if he activates all those, I'd be perfectly fine. Uh-oh. Snowpiercer! Okay, it's fine. Have you seen the video that claims Snowpiercer and Willy Wonka are in the same universe? No. That Snowpiercer is actually a sequel to Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory? I've never seen Snowpiercer. Oh. Well. My oh, anus. my. Yep. It's okay. Now he's got more than three monsters. And I get 500 of that back. <laughs> Yay, aroma jar. Gonna be a big... Uh, Which one's the piercer attached to? You wanna get rid of that one? Yeah, it's this the big one. Mm -hmm. Yay, take a ball. <laughs> I, ho I wonder if he has links to get rid of this. Do they have, Hopefully not. do Super Samurais have pendulums now? They've had pendulums for a have while. They? they got two of them. Mm. They got exactly two pendulums, and that was it. They just recently got a Link, though. It's like a weird Link 1. I don't really understand it. It's like, I don't really think they need a Link, so they just make a huge fuck-off choo-choo train. <laughs> Especially a Link 1, it's just sort of like, Oh, he tribute summoned! Ben Kite. Uh, please don't. Okay, good. That doesn't give it any more. Now, don't do it. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully all his soul piercers are gone. Oh, boy. Another Wabaku. Um, let's see. That's one, two. two. Is the third one banished? No. no. Maybe he only runs two. No, because it's their, like one of their main playmakers. Does Maybe it... he's a dummy. <laughs> Maybe he's dumb. You don't know. <laughs> Maybe he thinks he's got a better idea this... than using the card that makes things work. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! after all. I wouldn't be surprised with anything these days. Oh, Super Magnet Samurai. Maybe he'll be playing D-Boys for all you uh -oh. know. Um, fuck. That looks bad. <laughs> it is bad! <laughs> Waboku, save me! Better hope you draw another sphere mode. I don't want to take any damage. Actually, wait. They can't attack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he can. I'm dumb. <laughs> but he doesn't know that. <laughs> he doesn't know because I activated Waboku before he could try <laughs> to attack. And now I have 46. So even if he does, I won't <laughs> die. Gear Gigan X. Hey, Kirk. 
Get out of my gadget deck. <laughs> are you gonna? I heard gadgets are gonna be really good with platinum gadgets. Yeah, I might have to rebuild. And you might have to learn how links work. <laughs> But I just learned how pendulums work. <laughs> I just now learned how I just how learned pendulums... the bullshit of taking pendulums from the extra deck. Well, there goes my anus. <laughs> well, Ouch. Uh, but how? Oh, Big he only glove had, he doubles. Only had two now, I understand. Yeah, yeah. He, just, uh, he figured it out. Unfortunately. Damn you, Summer Sanders. Putting a giant glove up your anus. Next duel. <laughs> Here we are, ninth duel, brought to you by the final Patreon sponsor of this episode, Shep, who's probably the friendliest, nicest person in the Patreon. Nice little cool person. Hi, Shep. And it's Sandra versus Santa. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Axe Mass. That just pains me so much to look at. I bring you a message. Of peace. Eh. And refugees. Don't forget about Syria this Christmas. Be sad. Think about orphans. Refugee in audacity. Oh, it's refuge in audacity. <laughs> Fuck. There needs to be another E there. Oh, hey. Joe, put another E in there. Yeah. Um, what's he doing? Special Heroes. summon one destiny hero from your hand. Stop it. I hope that whatever you get, mask change. All right. You should have just done this in the draw phase, and you wouldn't have been able to do any of this. You might have been able to do similar stuff, though. Dank law. Yep. I'm... Oh, there he goes his Utopia Neos. And his Disc Commander. And one of his... <laughs> Malicious is a two, so he lost one of them. So he can't use the other one to do anything. <laughs> could discard it for um something foolish burial not so goods now we just got a pair of balls just down here comment in the comments if you have a pair of balls yep i better see 90 percent of the people comments kale you know kale has no balls that's true Ooh, shots fired doo -doo -doo -doo. it's okay he doesn't watch the episodes anymore or he watches them really late. I'll probably, like, sometime around April, he'll be like, <laughs> What? Joe? I did not. I don't believe. Pay 100? Yes. Cup of Ace. I saw the sign. I opened up my eyes and saw the sign. Getting with cup stuff. Everyone is cup stuff. Have a fish. There you go. Yay! Now he's halfway there. He's two thirds of the way there. Whatever. That's bigger than a half. I never learned no math, math. You should have. Probably. I went to public school. I didn't learn shit about fuck. Good point. All I learned was how to stay out of trouble. And you didn't do a very good job learning that. Nope. Yay, 300. Now my monsters can't be destroyed by battle. Oh no. Hey, now he's got all three. Yep. But he's got a hunt out. He can attack me with the fish. Well, you see, you get for giving three sauces. Hopefully, he'll, like, link summon. He'll use, like, the three of these and make something terrible. See, the thing, because I forced him to use that mask change, he's stuck with this in the extra monster zone. Probably makes him sad. So much for being stuck with that in the extra monster oh, zone. There goes his old. But she can't attack either. Neither of them can attack. Fish can still attack. Fish can just go, om nom 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 nom. He looks like he likes nanners. I don't know, maybe it's just me. He just looks like a nanner fish. Thanks for drawing more, you're making it easier to yeah, build. Yeah, he's already down to 18. Also, now I can use this. Ooh, the Phantom Shade of, or the Phantom Knights of Shade Brigadine. That's a neat. I'm surprised they let that in the TCG with that art. He's clearly got testicles and balls uh, down there. Just a dang old doodly do. Either that or that's some sort of weird parrot just sort of like looking at you like, What's all this then? Uh -oh. It's, um, it, it's old blue. People still play Tornado Dragon. 
He's not putting three monsters because he knows I have sphere mode. Yep. Yay, we're back to equal. <laughs> it's like nothing ever happened. Pot of indulgence. You ash blossom this. Santa's going to be very... Okay, good. You can't. I can't. Okay. That's fine. I have Battle Fader. He's fading your battles. Battle I play sets and toys. No, not the refugee. Um. Surprise. I have minds bigger. Um. Let's get this back. <laughs> that one was more useful. Like, the fuck is this shit? Joe, this isn't Christmas related. You're going too hard. Like, no, look, he's clearly got red and green lights. This is clear me, clearly a Christmas light display. I agree, I concur. Very much so. Christmas light dragon cannot be stopped. That's just how he is. So, you've gone through most of your deck. I'm just now getting to 40 cards. <laughs> you can't get over 2200. Not with 2100. If there's one thing I know, it's which numbers... Oh, God. I almost closed out the thing. Don't do that. <laughs> Sure, that looks weird on the capture. Everything probably just changed size slightly. Elemental hero, solid soldier. He's originally solid man, but I guess that they couldn't do that because it was copyrighted by a pornographer. Um, uh, Doom Lord. I didn't know people played that. It's a Doom it's, it's like, House. Uh, target one monster. Banish that target. You cannot declare an attack the turn you activate this effect. All right. Mask Changi. Racist. I said Changi, not Chinky. Yeah, don't talk about Changis. Changis, that's that's a bad word for people from uh, Kentucky. Uh huh. Who are a race now? I'm not sure if you're aware of that. Messenger of peace. Look, he's giving you sphere mode. Doop doop doop. Have a big sphere. <laughs> One day of peace. I can't do that. Setting a card! <laughs> I think we may have won this one. I'm gonna count this one in the bag. This is, this, or in the sack. I should it's in Santa's in the sack. sack. Yep. Get a peppermint stick from old Saint Nick and something da 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 da. It's a holiday season. A roopy doo, a sumpity doo, a da da da. I hope I get a clock. <laughs> <laughs> a doodly do and doodly do. We're just playing some Yu Gi Oh! And if I don't, then you're a hoe. Well, we're coming down the chimney <laughs> down. I, had, I used to work retail for many, many years. I guess I worked fast food. That's not retail. Well, I work some I work retail. retail. Yeah. I work fast food, which is like retail. Either way, they still played Christmas music 24-7 for many, for like... I would I would hardly call Radio Shack retail. I didn't work at Radio Shack. You're thinking of CB Radio. No. Whatever. I worked at uh, the Dollar Store, and I worked at uh, Michael's Arts and Crafts. Oh, did you? Yeah, for like uh, a year and a half. I don't think I ever knew about Michael's. Yeah, it was like part-time. I didn't really like it that much. They only gave me like five hours a week. And also, it was really difficult to, like, find where stuff was. Yeah, do you have these ceramic flowers? Do we have flowers? <laughs> Pretty much. They just, they just carried so much stuff. And the, it was, it, it was like, it was strangely, like, not org organized. Like, I came in, and they would just be like, Here, take a reader, start going up and down the hallways, and look for stuff that looks out of place. I'm like, I'm new, I don't know what's in place. And they're <laughs> yeah. like, well, if you don't know, just scan it. And then you scan it, and it would give you, like, a big number. And then it was like, what do the numbers mean? Like, Fuck if I know. <laughs> Why did I put this in the center? <laughs> this is not where this should be. I was going to play the turkey in the center. Now the turkey's not in the center. Now I have two turkeys. Yes, I'll pay 500 um, 
Whatever. We're good. It'll be here for a while. Comment in the comments with what jobs you have worked, especially if they're, uh, if they're, like, retail or whatever. If you have any interesting job stories, put them down in the comments. I'll read them. I'll try to re react. For now, though, we're just gonna skip on, dang on, ahead again. 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 <laughs> Takes three monsters. Zero attack. But if Ojama Country is on the field, it gains 3,000 attack and can't be destroyed by card effects. Oh, hey! He surrendered. Oh, hey! We we're, were both looking at our phones. Sorry. Sorry, Sandra. You get coal this year, it seems. Oh, don't use that pen. It's, it's going to oh, bleed yeah. through all the papers. Yeah, we, we mark down whether we win or lose on paper because it's the easiest way to keep track of it. But yeah, we got another win somehow. Are, are we gonna are we gonna break even? If we if we win one more, we break even, which I think would be a first for the Christmas deck. No, we're gonna. Oh, if we lose, we break yeah. even. Okay, so if we win, but I'll have to look at I'll have to look. We'll be back. We'll be back for the tenth duel. <laughs> and here we are, the tenth and final duel versus Raven Z. I'd like to believe it's the Teen Titans. Yes. Come down from Titan Tower to do some stuff. Or some things, maybe, man. Hey, we're going second, which is probably best for this deck, which is why I usually go first. And yeah, actually, what was it? Uh, I forget if it was last year or the year before. No, last year we only won two. The year before, we won six. We went six and four somehow. Um... Let's get rid of that. You won't know what it is. <laughs> but yeah, so we, we will, if we do win this, this will not be uncharted territory. I've done this good before, somehow. But yeah, the other two, we won two and we won three. This Maybe looks like a synchro these, deck, Joe. Yep. Some kind of synchro deck. He's going to make a whole bunch of stuff and then I'm going to give him a bad time. Well, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Some people pay extra for big balls up their ass. Possibly. I mean, it's Synchro, so it's very likely that, you know, he'll get uh, one monster. Maybe he'll just end on Quasar, and I'll be like, okay. Star Eater. Star, <laughs> Star Eater Pass. Oh, no, it's Crystron Needle Fiber. Boo! That doesn't exist. That's a fake card. That's something the Japanese players just made up to scare American players. Just like America made up UAs to scare Japanese players. No. They, the Japanese got UAs like six months after we did, and they're like, mm -hmm. uh, import pack, because they get import How long packs. has Needle Fiber been out? Um, since February of last year. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, before that. It's been, been more than a year, because Link Brain's pack uh, one was last year. It was released last year around this time. Mm. Like I said, even the year before that. Do you think they're sitting on it for, like, a pack or a tin, or do you think they're just going to, like, sitting on it like Nebra Disc, where they're just going to wait, like, eight years and then give now, us I, it I randomly? Think, considering how, uh, like, we, we had a whole bunch of people just have that backlash over Firewall OTK, mm -hmm. and Needle Fiber turned the OCG formats into nothing but FTKs for, like, until they had to ban a whole bunch of shit. Because it's just too generic, it makes link climbing, like, too easy. Um, maybe we'll get it eventually, but it just feels like one of those things, like, they're just sitting on it until it's no longer good. <laughs> I mean, I could be wrong. They did, uh, what was it? They did recently announce, uh, I forget what it's called. There's some new p Duelist pack coming out where it's, like, a whole bunch of reprints. Not only is it a whole bunch of reprints, like, they're adding in, a, like, Ghost Ogre and Evenly Matched and stuff. But they're also bringing at least three things that were in the Link brains that we still haven't gotten. Like the Aromage Link and stuff. Oh, hey. Merry Christmas! Have an ornament. I give you a gift. A big ol' Christmas ornament. Hmm. Hashtag shiny. Doop doop doop. Doop 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 doop
Oh, and I can't normal summon. Okay, there we go. We're good. You, this is not the Mario episode. I'm not playing the plumber deck. Junk Synchron, and again, they don't respond. I think this is the least chatty uh, Christmas gift deck I've, I've done this whole time. What if, he makes a, what if he makes a level 13 Synchro, Joe? Those don't exist yet. Well, why not? Why don't they exist? Why don't you make something that exists? There's not enough room. They could start... Them. They got the whole left side they could go down. <laughs> <laughs> and the right side. We can just have, like, a level, you know... They 60... could stack them on top of each other, make <laughs> double stars. Just do, do, put do, star do, do. X, you know, 15, whatever, you know? It's like, this is 15 stars. It's all... Yeah, just star and just... Yeah, times 15. <laughs> Just, just spell it out. Just put the words 15 stars at the top. <laughs> there you go. I want to see that on one of your art cards you make. <laughs> Maybe. My my big rule with the uh the the Yugi poops I call them is that they have to uh they have to use all the in they have to use all stuff that's already in the card art. So I can't like write new stuff. I just have to rearrange and remix the stuff that's already there. Also, not to burst your bubble guy, but I'm pretty sure after all this, you're still going to have at least three <laughs> monsters. Unless you've got a level 11 you're about to make. Star Eater. Stardust Warrior. Ha! <laughs> you think I'm going to special summon things. Oh, so cool. Oh. Shiny! You're my stardust You're in my... the morning. I cry. <laughs> I cry ever, Tim. Um, let's see. I could just give it 23. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just going to be like, you know. There we go. Uh, I keep forgetting to use that. I really should. There we go. We're fine. I'm not going to attack. Cause We're all fine down here now. Thank you. How we've, are you? We've got the holy Christmas chicken. Yay! 300! And he gets to draw a card. And then he draws another card. Eh. Reincarnation. He took his soul charge. Reincarnation. Just like Buddha. I'm putting the Buddha back in Christmas. <laughs> Last Buddha, I gave you my heart. Last Christmas, I meditated under a tree. The very the next, next day, I ate a bunch of cake. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very Buddhist of you at all. <laughs> like, yeah, this, it was this some meditation. Yep. That was some meditation. I tried meditating, but all I ever saw was a big voice, a big picture of myself being like, dude, cake is really delicious. You should eat some. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't think I meditated right. Oh, hey, Christmas greed. Om nom 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 nom. Drawing cards. Drawing cards. Ooh. Here. This will help. Ah. It's a Christmas fish. Enjoy. I mean, he cried earlier, so he's got to still be there. You just drop your phone on the ground? I did. I wouldn't recommend that. I wouldn't either. On this concrete dungeon floor. Yeah. <laughs> Please donate to the Patreon. Help me get out of this concrete dungeon that I'm in. Or at least to carpet the floor. Yeah. Well, it'd be, I can't carpet the floor down here because it floods when it rains. <laughs> it needs to be cement so we can uh, shop back it up. Where's the Grinch when I need him? You're a mean one. In that off, oh, he hey, surrendered. Christmas, Christmas, Woo. Christmas, Grinch. I'm sorry. Come back. You can win this time. 
Oh well. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Christmas gift 2018. Uh, six and four. Six and four, somehow. I have had serious decks that did worse than this. <laughs> to be fair, I guess I did summon the Egyptian god Ra that one time. Gonna have to put that on the thumbnail. All the kids will like that. Uh, comment in the comments if you enjoyed yourself. Hopefully it was a, f a fun time. Maybe you enjoyed having Cardsworth around here. Maybe you'll check out his channel, you know, over in the description. And if not, maybe subscribe to this channel. Maybe donate to the Patreon. Or, you know, maybe, maybe, but pro probably uh, something I shouldn't say, but give the money to charity instead. I, th there are people who probably deserve it more than me. Um, like Captain uh, Cardsworth. <laughs> completely deflate the mood it's perfectly fine either way i hope you guys whatever holiday you celebrate christmas hanukkah whatever even if you don't celebrate the holidays i hope you have a lovely day a lovely season um any last words cardsworth no i think i think we summed it all up you you can you've brought me back from a humbuggery at the start to being such a festive ball of twine here at the end i just Candy canes and elves and sugar plums and tinsel, and it's been a pleasure. Until next time, good, good luck. luck. I said good luck. You're supposed to and have fun. Oh, and have fun. And Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart.